channel. So for today's video, I decided to do the super bright and colorful summer makeup tutorial. Kind of like the one I did last summer, but it's a bit more advanced and modern, I guess you could say. And also stay tuned to the very end of the video because I am giving away a palette. And also a huge thanks to Neutrogena for sponsoring this video. I did partner up with them to bring to you guys the summer makeup tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you guys can tell, I did do one eye off camera, but I kind of messed up because I used a loose shadow glitter duo thingy right here on my eyelid and it went everywhere and it actually stuck onto my skin because I used a moisturizer and I don't want that to happen on this side. So we're going to go ahead and do my foundation and then we'll move on to the eye. For primer today, I am going to be using the Ultra HD Skin Booster and I love this stuff because... It's super hydrating on the skin, which is a great for the summertime because we still want our skin looking fresh, nice, and glowy underneath our foundation. For today's foundation, I actually want to talk about this right here, which is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Blemish Treatment Foundation. I know that's a mouthful, but I actually have been loving this foundation. Like I've said in my previous videos, I have been breaking out and this foundation helps with breakouts. So although you have makeup on, it's still fighting against acne, which is really awesome. And it's not that full coverage, so it doesn't cake up on your face. Honestly, the first time I tried this foundation, I was a little bit blown away just because I did have um, two little pimples that were coming in right here. And then once I put on this foundation and I took it off, I wore it throughout the whole entire day and when I took off the foundation I noticed that the blemishes had gotten smaller and at first I was like maybe it was a skincare I did in the morning but then I realized I didn't do the detox mask that I usually do so I was kind of blown away because that means it was a foundation that kind of helped with the with the breakout if you guys don't want to wear a liquid foundation for the summertime you guys want something a bit more light but it still does the same thing as this one fight blemishes and all that stuff then i recommend this one right here this is the neutrogena skin clearing complexion perfector and this is more like a bb cream or a tinted moisturizer so let's say you're on the go and you just want something full coverage that's still fighting acne that still looks flawless and i recommend this one next i added my tarte shape tape concealer underneath my eyes I feel like I got a little bit tanner, so I should probably change my concealer shade because I feel like this one is a bit too light for me now. Kind of looks pinkish, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm going to set everything in place with my Born This Way translucent powder. You guys, I'm still not a big fan of this. Like, I wish it just didn't have flashback because it's such a good powder, but I hate it because it has flashback. But I'm over here still using it. The only reason why I use it for makeup tutorials is because I'm obviously like not going to go somewhere afterwards where I use flash. So that's why I use it for the sake of the videos. But other than that, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I am done setting my face. I love how my skin looks. And I love that I have the freedom of applying my foundation and doing my makeup without even having to worry about any breakouts. Anyways, moving on to the eyes. For today's palette, I'm using the Take Me to Brazil palette. And this is actually... The new one where's the old one so here's the old one here's the new one obviously the palette's a little bit bigger the packaging looks more fun more bright more colorful let me show you guys what the inside of this one looks like oh my god you guys can you just talk about this it's like MUA heaven like this is like the most beautiful rainbow palette I've ever seen and then here's the other one so you guys can see there are way more colors on this one than there is on this one I don't know why it looks so bright on the camera but we're going to start off by using this yellow shade over here it's kind of like yellow with orange undertones which is perfect as a transition shade this brush has colors left over from previous looks but it is a little bit hard to build up just because the colors are so sheer but i think they're still really good shadows so i guess since i had like orange already on this brush it kind of changed the color of the eyeshadow but i kind of like it it doesn't like that yellow it looks more like of a yellow orange does that make sense i don't know next color we're moving on to is this burnt orange over here and i'm picking that up with the morphe m433 brush you guys know i love this brush since this is a halo eye, remember to drag the colors all the way out and all the way in. 
and then kind of flip the brush over so instead of like this flip it over so you can start to distribute the color upwards closing your eyelid by the way helps blending a lot that's a good tip to always remember because if you're like this your eyelid is kind of crinkled up so when you close them the colors don't look as intense so i always recommend closing your eyes while blending out the shadow daily tip 101 hashtag so next we're moving on to this like navy cobalt blue color i don't know why the colors aren't really showing up um through the camera but this is what the color looks like it's just like a really bright blue using the same color on a morphe m443 i'm going to begin to buff that color out that way it looks blended and not so harsh so this is going to take a while because we did wet that eyeshadow so it's a little bit harder to buff out but if you just go back and forth windshield wiper motions circular motions then you'll be okay to go <laughs> that was so weird so now for the blue duochrome kind of thing i'm going to use this dose of colors meant to be eye duo so the reason why it's an eye duo is because you open it and right here is like the cream shadow so i'm going to lay this first and then down here is the actual loose pigment so what i'm going to do is i don't know if, it's because it's kind of hard because i have nails you know i really can't get that much product but i'm just going to tap it a little go down the middle and then once you get to the edges kind of drag it inside okay so now we're gonna open it up this color is so freaking pretty okay so i'm gonna pick a little bit up with the brush and i'm going to wet it when you wet it it makes a big difference so i'm just using the mario spray oh wow you guys see that it's so freaking pretty if i were to be an eyeshadow i'd be this eyeshadow and i kind of want it all over the lid i know this is like a halo eye but i want it to really show so it's, i'm kind of spreading it out a little bit more than usual so i'm going back into that blue that we used earlier applying it on the edges by the way for the lower lash line i just repeated the same process that i did on the top bottom portion top bottom portion on the top portion of my eye i just didn't want to repeat it because it's the exact same thing i did so i brought down the exact same colors that i put up here so now that we applied our foundation before i can dust away all of the fallout and now i'm just going to create a small thin line for the lashes i'm going to apply i will have the lashes linked down below as well with my discount code okay so we are moving on to bronzer you guys so i'm watching pretty little liars like in between the cuts or whatever and i'm on the last season i still don't know who a is and i'm so excited like seriously pretty little liars is like a freaking roller coaster for blush i have been loving this blush this is honestly my new favorite blush this is called mint for you this is by dose of colors you guys the packaging you guys know i love tiffany blue i feel like the whole collection is just honestly really great by the way this is my new favorite blush brush this is the bh cosmetics 4 brush this came out in their new collection i've been really liking it it diffuses the blush really nicely for highlight i'm using my second favorite highlighter ever this is the ofra Dale drive highlighter you guys can use code daisy 30 for 30 percent off so you guys will get a pretty cheap price the ABH So Hollywood and the Ofra Rodale Drive together is honestly like the best highlighter out there. The best highlighter combo, should I say. When you're doing your highlight, um, always remember to do little circular motions because you don't want just like a super harsh stripe on your face. I almost forgot to add it, but I'm adding my little inner corner highlight. You guys always know that I love to add. It wouldn't be a daisy look, honestly, if I didn't have the little inner corner shadow. I wish they would have still sold this, but they don't. I feel like it just completes any look. Anyways, I went ahead and lined my lips, and I'm going to be using this 
liquid lipstick also that came out in the mint collection by dose of colors it is in the shade ode flame it's a really pretty coral color perfect for the summertime as well Okay, so there is the lippy. I feel like this color really does complement the blues and it brings out the orange and the yellow tones that we used earlier. So now to set everything in place, I'm going to use my favorite setting spray. This is the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Oh, whoa. I did not know this was a primer. Whoa, okay. Well, now I know for next time. Alright guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love the outcome of the look. And in the meantime that I was letting my camera charge so I could finish the outro and the intro of this video, I did paint my nails. This side came out a little bit ugly, but we're gonna ignore that. And I did change the background because I noticed that the black clothing wasn't really letting you guys see my beautiful bun. So I had to switch that. But anyways, I am giving away a Take Me To Brazil palette. And now you enter is by letting me know in the comments and below what is your favorite song at the moment. Mine is Mi Gente by J Balvin. If you haven't heard it, you definitely have to. I am obsessed with that song so yeah that is it for today's video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye guys